Hi everyone, so welcome to lesson 4 which will be on sketching and modeling. So today we will learn how to create sketches, add dimension to your sketches, add constraint to your sketches as well as creating the model from your sketches. Okay, so the first thing we will click on new and then we will click OK. We will select the sketch okay, under the shape tab. When they prompt you to select a plane, we will select the XY plane. Then we click on OK. So this will lead you to the 2D environment. Over here, we will click on draw. Okay, we will draw our sketch out. Okay, like that. Okay, and then you see that you want to change some of the dimensions to make it proportionate. So we click over here. 17. So you notice that I have added all the uh, the dimensions. Okay, I click on tick. Okay, I can go to constraint and click add constraint. Okay, because I want these two lines over here to actually be collinear. Okay, so you can press on collinear, constraint lines to be collinear. Then you click OK. So now they are collinear. Okay, other than that, we can also select these three lines over here. We want it to be parallel. Okay, so you can see that the parallel icon has appeared over here. We want to make these lines parallel as well. Then you click OK. Okay, so they are now parallel as well. So if I want to add a slot and an arc over here, you can go back to sketch. I click on arc. Okay, click these two points. Then I click OK. Then you can see that I have an arc here with a radius of 10. Okay, you can delete this line here. Okay, so I can also add a slot over here. Just click on this center point, go up. Okay, and then I enter the radius that I want, which is 6. Okay, and I press enter. Then you're done. Okay, if I want to change the height, I can go back to constraint quick dimension I press on these two center points you see now I can click and then I change to 25 enter then I click OK and then I'm done so when I've satisfied with this sketch over here I can actually press the exit icon which will lead me back to the 3d modeling okay so now I can go to shape extrude okay and then I can select my profile P as the previous sketch. Extrude type I will use one sided. Okay, and then I can click anywhere in the workspace. Okay, you notice that the height keeps changing. You can click on any one. Okay, I click OK. So, what if I want to change the height of this block over here? Okay, I do not want it to be extruded to such a height. Right click. Okay, right click over here. Then I go up to this one. Redefine. Okay, so I can go back to the settings and go back and put maybe a height of 20. Then I click OK. Okay, afterwards we can also add a fillet. Okay, so put here, here, here. Okay, on six different edges. Okay, so six different edges. Okay, I'll select the radius to be 8. Then I click OK. So you see, now we are done with the fillet. And then now we can actually do a shell. Okay, whereby I will shell this part over here with the top surface as the open surface. So the shape, I will select the shape. Thickness, I'll put 1mm. Open all surface, we will click the top one. And we click OK. So now the object is being shell. So you are done with your simple modeling. Okay. So another thing to take note is that okay, if you want to do a modeling of a very basic shape, for example, sphere, cylindrical, you can come over to this part over here, click on block, for example, click on the origin of your block, 
and then you can create a block simply like that okay you can change the dimensions over here I click ok then if I want to create for example a sphere then I can click ok as well so these are only for simple standard shapes okay that we can click over here on the drop down list okay another thing to take note for sketches for example if I go to video standard sketch okay for example if I draw two circles the other one okay I change the radius to maybe 40 okay so you see this part overlapping here which I do not want them to overlap I do not want this small up here and I do not want this small up here what do I do if I click on it and I press delete it will delete the whole circle okay so I do a ctrl Z I undo it I'll actually go to sketch okay power trim okay then I click at this area here empty area I drag across it and I release so you realize the arc over here is gone I'm left with this outside arc with arc over here okay so we have come to the end of lesson 4 so next lesson we will be talking about lesson 5 which will be the direct editing feature of ZW3D